Great news, everyone. Advanced search for DNN is finally a reality. My name is Bogdan. I am the owner of DNN Sharp. And we've made this possible by combining two of our best modules into a new action commit flow. So we have Searchbus on one side doing the indexing of content of pages and documents. And we have Action Form on the other side that has these form building capabilities to create those advanced filters. And I will not delay this any longer. I will jump right into some examples. And I will start building progressively from a simple search box to more advanced filters using um, built-in filters or custom filters. So I'm now on a development machine. I also already have um, Search Boost installed. And then I have an advanced search page. And I will just add a new action form module here. And I will create a basic search boost. We start with a blank form. Add a text box. I'll just say MP4 search. And then I have to add a button. That is the search button that performs the search. And this, for this, I need to add a search boost search action and this is quite easy to configure just switch choose an instance and I already know that the instance I want to use is 420 and then you have to uh, choose one of the input fields from the form and I name this input field search it's only one for now you could also input a search expansion manually so you don't if you don't want to let users search their own search you want to give them a predefined search you can input an expression here and you can define how multi multi word are handled if they the uh, results need to contain all words or only some of the words and then we have filters that I will um, follow up in a few I will save go back and demonstrate this basic functionality I'll just search maybe for test hit enter and now I have to go to the search boost and see if it's configured properly to to point to a search result module and I want to have a search result module on this page on the advanced search page so I don't want it to go to a different page so let's just add a new module to this page it's a, a it's a search boost results module okay and you see it's already loaded the result Let's see if it's probably wired. So I, I will have to go into this search boost instance here. And let's see if the results page. Okay, it's. Um, I'll just choose the search boost results page. Let me go back to advanced search. So now if I search for test, you'll see the test results have loaded on this page but I've lost the search from this uh, text box and I can show you how to do to fix that real quickly but you need to have uh, my tokens installed and then you can just get it from query strings using um, this token in the initial value query string double column and the name of the parameter which in this case is SB search okay go back and let me show you this real quick okay you see it the results are loaded and the input remains in the text box what i'm going to do next you s you may notice that i have some results that are pages and some results that are pdf so i want to add a filter to uh, only show uh, documents and first i will add it implicitly so i will filter all search to only bring documents but then I will show you how to create a drop down for the users to select the, the filter. So I will just go and uh, in the search action and just add a filter. And I will name this a filter. It has to be the same as in, in the index. And I'll show you that in a bit. And then you have to um, provide a value. And this also uh, will be available in the index. And I will show you this also. So I'll just filter by type, it needs to be doc, which means document. I'll save this, go back, demonstrate it to you, and then show you where you can get these values from 
so I just press for test again and now you see I no longer have the page I only have PDF coming in the results so how would you know all those fields well you have to go to the search bull documentation and there is a page on um, the b on opening the index with with um, the scene with the look so if you look in the left menu it's in under utilities debug index is this page and here it will say analyze the scene index with look and this will provide you the instruction on how to open the index and see all the fields that are there and all the content attached to each field so I already have the index here and when you open it you open it from the portal's default folder it's called Lucene and some number for obfuscation purposes and it will show you all the fields that are in the index and you'll notice that some uh, start with underscore those are custom filters that I will show you later and the rest are uh, built-in filters and in this case you see I was using the type field and um, and you can actually go into the search and enable the um, star character and then search by star to see all documents that are in the index and here you have a table and you see all the column names and all the possible values and you can uh, filter by most of these I don't think you can filter by all but by most of them so you can filter for example by subtype you can filter to show to show only PDFs or only results coming from HTML module and then you can filter by roles for example you can search uh, only results that are visible to uh, I don't know registered users and then you can filter by uh, portal so you want to bring results from from a few portals or by module ID by folder name so you, you have all this data here uh, that you can filter by most of it and what I did now I just filter by this type field and you see it basically has the dog value or the mode value and it it may have other values such as plugins such as rules and a few others this being said let me go back to the uh, to my search and add a drop down to allow users to select either you want to search um, documents or um, modules so I will just add a drop down and I'll call this uh, filter by type provide two values documents and the value is doc I just uh, showed you that or module and the value is mode okay and now instead of hard coding the filter I will use a token that will get me the value that the user selected in this field so I'll go back to the search action, action and just replace this with a token filter by type so this will get replaced with whatever the user selected let me save this also change the layout a little because it will probably work put it on the end so maybe I want to um, to put it here next to the search box let's see how it looks like yeah so I have a uh, I have this uh, search box and then I have which is a little bit too small let me let me make it a little bigger possibly by making the label smaller yeah so now I can search for test again and you see all these documents unfiltered yet let me move this at the bottom okay but then I can filter by uh, documents let's say I will search and now you see I only have four results with which are the PDFs or I can search by modules and now I should have only one result that is the PDF notice that the selection doesn't stay in the filter I would have to do the same trick that I did with the, with the input and read it from the query screen next I will show you how to build custom filters so basically I have two HTML modules now and I want to be able to create a f uh, to place each one in a filter and have another drop down that switches between them and I could do this a few different ways one is the built-in way from DNN to use to just use the tags 
so I could possibly do something like that and uh, go into module settings and select uh, some tags but this will require me to create the tags someplace else and I don't want to go this way now it will take longer or I can go to search boost inside the search, search target tree and just filter uh, drill down to the pages and place each one in a category or provide a additional field and I will use additional field because this is actually the custom data this is just uh, for sensitive search so I have to use the name equal value syntax and let's say that is this is um, content type I'll name it like this equal for library let's say this is one of the content type and for this uh, other one I will just use the content type equals let's say um, subscription okay save and remember that you have to index the content after you make changes otherwise they may not reflect instantly so I'll index to make sure that I'm not testing different things and now I will go back to the advanced search and, and show you how to build this field so just let's just um, add a new filter name it content type and let's say library so you see now I only have the results from the library so this was very very easy because uh, search boost will actually take care to map your name to the actual field and right now if I go to reopen the index with look and I will look at the um, modules you'll see here I have the two the two results and you'll see at the end that I have uh, the content type field and you'll see that it was um, changed into a unique name with underscore and as the value field and Cerbus will take care to translate the name that you provided in the custom data which is also stored is stored in data key it will take care to translate it to that filter so you see it was very very easy to accomplish this and now I will just add the missing piece which is a drop down for the user to select this and we've done this before it's the same thing add a drop down name it content type give it library and subscription and use this in the search action instead of the hard-coded value save this maybe let's rearrange it a little so now I want to move this on a new line and uh, make this full width and split it split the two drop downs on the same line okay and maybe I want to place the button next to the search box okay looks better now so I will just search for test in module in modules in subscription search this you see I have the second page the another test page and now if I were to filter by library you'll see I have the other page the test page and this <coughs> is actually the true power of this uh, advanced filter because you can actually create custom data for pages but you can also create it for uh, for example for rules I have a rule here that would index data from the tabs table so it will index the page pages directly from the database and then you will see that on the last step of the wizard again you can specify um, custom data okay so you could possibly I could possibly say that uh, some field is stored as under the custom data so let's say that I want for um, what can I store here that is unique 
I could store, for example, level, also all my content types, and then I would filter by content type equals uh, zero or one or two, whatever the level is. Okay, and you can also use this for documents, and uh, for documents you cannot do it from the tree yet, but you can do it from the metadata file. So if you go back to the uh, service documentation you see that is quite an extensive documentation on uh, me metadata, which are basically some XML files that you create next to the document. So if you have a test.pdf document, you just create a test.pdf.metadata document, and here you can uh, uh, specify additional metadata for the document, but you can specify custom fields as well. And this gives you much flexibility, you can create any number of filters and uh, match them anyway. You can um, combine implicit filters with um, explicit filters that come from input. And this also provides a use case that was requested by our users in the past, and that is to have different Cerberus, uh, different search input linked to the same uh, Cerberus module. So users. Uh, complain that they have to maintain multiple instances in sync and just have one or two different settings or sometimes uh, none of them different. And this is the solution. Now you can have multiple action form instances all wired to the same Cerberus mission. So you only configure the Cerberus instance once and then you customize different search uh, um, input boxes to have different filters and uh, so on. I could talk days about what you can do with this um, extension and with Cerberus and in action form, but I will stop here. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for using our module.